Next Saturday, the colourful and outrageous adventures of Paul Newman and Robert Redford as the semi-legendary heroes Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. That's at 8 o'clock next Saturday. Christmas goodies from the BBC. There's a great selection of videos. 25 years of Match of the Day begins in the 60s. It's a magnificent goal. Best a great goal. Children's entertainment with the delightful antics of Barney. Go on, profit. And for comedy, the best of Rory Bremner. And why not? Just three of a huge collection of videos. Ideal Christmas goodies from the BBC. We head for the Guildhall in Preston in 15 minutes for continued coverage of the UK International Snooker Championship. Now at 5 to, ti five to 10, it's time for the news and sport with Martin Lewis and Rob Bonnet. The crisis in Czechoslovakia's government deepens as yet another top communist is forced to resign. With half a million protesters on the streets yet again, eight leading political dissidents are set free. And Scottish Tories pledge support for the Prime Minister as two new opinion polls claim her support is slipping. Good evening. Half a million pro-democracy demonstrators kept up the pressure for free elections on the streets of Czechoslovakia today, telling the Communist Party that Friday's sacking of seven of its leaders was not enough. So, one leading member of the new Politburo was forced to resign, eight prominent dissidents who'd been accused of political crimes were pardoned and set free, and the Prime Minister promised another meeting with opposition groups next week. When last night's first editions hit the streets, everyone thought they knew what the news was. The communist old guard had resigned en masse. By this morning, the queues for the later editions knew better. Only a few of the most unpopular figures were gone. The rest were involved in a complex game of political musical chairs. But it was a game which left Czechoslovak television news floundering. The commentators were anxious suddenly to be fair and balanced, but the scene at the hastily summoned conference of Communist Party activists, which was televised live, was so confused that no one knew what was going on. Suddenly, a fully paid-up party member was demanding the head of the most unpopular leader of all, Miloslav Stepan, the Prague party boss. More extraordinary still, Stepan duly resigned, live on air, he was supposedly an advocate of the Tiananmen Square solution, using troops against the demonstrators. The delegates gave a dutiful but scarcely rapturous welcome to the grave figure who emerged last night as the country's new leader, and Karol Urbanek politely clapped back. He's risen without trace and was only a compromise candidate anyway. His rhetoric was opaque. The basic question is, are we for socialism without mistakes, with people and for people. In other words, the Communist Party is in shambolic shape and is desperately playing for time. Overlooking Wenceslas Square tonight, a special edition of the newspaper Svobodny Slovo, covering the latest political crisis, was being prepared. It's so badly produced, it's scarcely readable, but its attack on the government for last week's police brutality helped to trigger off the big demonstrations here. The man who wrote that attack was hard at work again tonight. He's got through a lot of cigarettes in the course of the political revolution. The development here in Czechoslovakia was m more uh, quick than in Poland and, and uh, even uh, in Hungary or even than in GDR. There's a lot of people that say it's all down to you, it's all your fault. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, that's a general point of view uh, among the journalists. And among the crowds, there was once again a hunger for news of the political crisis. Only this time, the resignations within the leadership were genuine and not for show like last night. And they may only be the start. John Simpson, BBC News, Prague. The former Prime Minister Alexander Dubček, ousted by the Soviet Army 21 years ago, has dismissed the Politburo changes as a manoeuvre and urged the nation to be watchful. While another leading protester said, we are now receiving verified reports that the new leadership of the party is a trick and that the instruments of power are being taken over by neo-Stalinists. The centre of Prague was deserted this afternoon. Almost the entire adult population of the city had flocked to a park to give their verdict on the reshuffle. 
The playwright Václav Havel summed up most people's feelings.